All right, we're here today. We got our next guest up here on the line tonight on ATG Radio, and it's definitely uh, an honor and a privilege to have this uh, young gentleman on the line right now. He is undefeated in his campaign at heavyweight. He is uh, one of the most exciting heavyweights out in the game today. Uh, one of the most frightening punchers. He's known as the Nordic Nightmare, Mr. Robert Hellenius. Robert, thanks for joining us tonight, Chance. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. Robert, I got to ask you, you know, go right into it, man. You know, being here in the United States, uh, you know, you, you actually captivated myself, and I know a lot of boxing fans here in the United States, obviously with your, your knockout victory over Lehman Brewster, and since then you've been, you know, capitalizing on great victory after victory. Uh, I got to ask you this, man. You got injured, kind of, you know, you've been out of action for a while, your shoulder. Yeah. First and foremost, man, how's everything going? How's the uh, injury healed up? Uh, now it's it's working pretty good because I'm uh, in a sparring training camp now. Uh, <clears throat> I got a uh, operation last January, <clears throat> so uh, it was a big big operation. I couldn't move for for three months or so, and now I'm getting back to the real deal. And now I'm doing good sparring. I'm I'm supposed to fight now tenth uh, in November in in Helsinki. Now, I got to ask you about that, Robert. You know, you're coming back. We, we've seen some press releases. I mean, nothing officially from you. I know your team put out a press release last week saying that it's hard for them to find you an opponent. Uh, a lot of these guys out here feel, fear your power. Uh, has there been any name uh, that's been brought up that might be your opponent on the 10th of November? Uh, I, I don't uh, I don't speculate. I don't work with them, so... Uh... I, of course, I work with them. It's uh, wrong to say not to work with them, but uh, they uh, they do all the work behind. Uh, like I do my training, I do my sparring, I do everything that I have to do to be fit for a fight. They are trying to find me opponents and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I, I have actually now we, we we had a Finnish guy, Jarno Rosberg. Uh, he wanted to fight me for my comeback fight, so we thought to, uh, we'd get him, but he, he got uh, ill or something, I don't know. He's uh, the Finnish yeah. Butterbean? The Finnish uh, Butterbean? Is that the one? The guy looks the, like no, Butterbean? He, he too, no, he, <laughs> he too. He too tried to uh, uh, speak in the press something about wanting to fight me or something like that, but yeah, uh, there was a better guy as him, uh, a southpaw, and... Uh, we actually fought uh, four times uh, amateur. I won three times of. of uh, he won the first fight, and I, I won the three last fights. Then, so he, he's not a bad bad boxer, but not not in my league. But he got. I think he got scared and uh, pulled out. And so now they are trying to find a new new opponent in this short uh, short time. There's uh, three weeks to the fight, so. <clears throat> one per, one person, Robert, who took um, who took into that press release that went out was you know you know a, a, a big trash talker in the heavyweight division, and it's Tyson Fury. He he posted it on his Twitter. Uh, you know he had some harsh words to say. I don't want to quote him right now because I don't know exactly what he had to say. But coming from Tyson okay. Fury, okay. you know it's not you know anything pleasant. What do you think about Tyson Fury yeah. man, and a potential fight, a showdown with him somewhere down the line? Yes, in, in some point, of course. Now, now I'm just uh, trying to back, get back in my old uh, good form and stuff like that. So, uh, of course, uh, that, that's that's not a problem at all. Uh, I think it's a, it's a good opponent in the future, near future. Of course, he's a, he's a good uh, big big boxer as well. So, he has done a good good fights as well. I I, I don't. I don't fear him or anything. He's a good boxer. I respect him, uh, of course. Uh, but in the future, of course, why not? My I think yeah, uh, very, very interesting fight. So. Hey, yeah, I'm being joined by my co-host. Oh, sorry, Rob Michael. I was just going to introduce. I'm being joined by my co-host uh, Michael Doss and uh, Timothy Hudges right now. They're both on the line. Uh, Michael. Hey, uh, I just yeah. want to ask you know your last fight against Derek Chisora. You know, you had a lot of uh, you had a lot of you know, a little bit of problems with him. You had your injuries. You know, you, you fought on. You know, since then, Derek just or yeah. Sora fought David Hay. You know, David Hay uh, had a little trouble early with him and then knocked him out. You know, did you see that fight? Yeah. And uh, what what did you think about you know that? And what did you did you uh you ever do you think there, that you performed in a way against Sora that it, that that you think deserved?
of the rematch. Uh, yeah, there is, a, <laughs> I think, three or four questions now. Uh, of course, uh, um, the David Hay fight, I thought it was a really, really interesting fight to see, to watch, of course. And uh, when he got knocked out, uh, it was also calming because he was, uh, he was, I don't think I don't know if he was nervous or something, but but he he was much slower than than uh, Hay, and uh, I, I almost saw that coming in some point. But but yeah, it, it was it was a I think a proper heavyweight fight for both of them. Uh, she sort of did a good good fight, uh, and against me he did a really really good fight. And I had my shoulder injury. The, Seven weeks before the fight, so I, I couldn't. After the first round, uh, I punched the uh, right hand, and I noticed I, I got no, no power in the right hand. So, but uh, I have tried to watch the fight a lot, a lot of, a lot of times after that, and uh, I, I see I, I have a more. I don't know how to explain it in English. I I, I know that I have more pure punch, punches the team. He he does a lot of work, but uh, most of the work he he punches me in my hands and uh, in the what do you call it? in my hands. Yeah, he, he, I don't know. I I got no marks, nothing after the fight. So, but but uh, it was of course it was a close fight. Uh, I can't say that, but I I also think it was also a good heavyweight fight. So, well. In the last couple of weeks, we had, we actually had Tyson Fury and David Price on the show, and uh, not yeah. they really wasn't mentioned in you very much. But you know what I told you know I talked to David Price. He actually has a win against Tyson Fury yeah. in amateurs. Well, you you have a win yeah. against, or against David Price in amateurs as well. Uh, I have do you, two. Do you feel yeah. that, two two wins. Oh, you got two wins. Well, do you feel that that yeah. do you feel any do you see any progress in him as a pro, or do you? I think that he's he's so I, I have to say I haven't watched uh, David Price that that close up. Uh, I have watched I think one of his early fights or something like that. Uh, <clears throat> I haven't followed him him that much. I can't say of him his progress, but of course he, he was also a young guy when he started pro f- professional. So uh, why wouldn't he also go go forward like any one of us? But, you know, and, and one more, my last question is, we got a lot of talent here in the States, but, you know, we're, it's like the, the Americans are clamoring for a, a for a heavyweight, for, for a good heavyweight prospect. <laughs> we have, we got, we got several of them, but, you know, have you watched any of the, you know, the, the, the Brian Jennings, the Seth Mitchells, have you saw any of these guys fight here in the States? And who do you think is probably the best, uh, best talent here? No, uh, it's it's really hard to say. Uh, I think there is a lot of young younglings coming up or uh, prospects, uh, and I, I think it's gonna be a more interesting future uh, in the near future. I I I I think so because there's a lot of young talent in the movement from everywhere in the world. So I think it's gonna switch in some point of uh, in some some year. I think it's gonna look quite different. We're gonna have a lot of more a uh, lot of more decent fighters up in the uh, top. Thanks Robert. Hey Robert, this is Tim Cudges. I just mm-hmm. had two quick questions for you. One being yeah. you, Mike just mentioned uh guys over in the United States and he mentioned Price and Fury on the show. Both Price and Fury expressed interest in fighting over in the United States. Is that something you look forward to doing in the future, or do you kind of just want to stay put where you are, where you're selling a lot of tickets? Um, yeah, now now for my comeback fight, I, of course I want to do it in in my hometown, Finland. But but of course it would be a big dream to come over in in the United States and box. I, I would be thrilled. Of course we're gonna. I hope I hope my my team is gonna look look for a fight there in the in the future as well. Uh, I don't know when or or where in the United States, but of course uh, it would I would be an awful thrill there to box there. Of course. Awesome. And then my my last question is a two part question. One being, has there been any talk inside of Sutherland about you potentially getting a title showdown with 
uh, stablemate Alexander Vivek in, and if so, how far how far out do you feel that you are from a title shot right now, being able to compete at that level? Yeah, <clears throat> that, that's a good question. I I don't with, with because Povetkin is training in the in the in Russia or in the United States this moment. I don't know where he's training at the moment, but but. Uh, we don't we don't see a, a lot of each other and we don't talk a lot of, about each other and and I actually I have to say I don't know the plan for 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 me right now I I just focus on my next fight and coming back stronger and stronger all the time so I don't I uh, I, I have really no idea when or would it be him or would it be somebody else? I, I, I can't I can't answer that question. I'm sorry. I, I don't really know what, what the plan is from them. I, I don't I don't talk to them uh, like that. That we because I, I just want to focus on my next fight and that's that's the main purpose for me right now. I understand that. Thanks, Robert. Robert, you know, I kind of want to touch on what Tim, I kind of want to jump in here and touch on what Tim was saying. Um, and, you know, I'm going to try to squeeze something out of you as far as this. I mean, you know, you look at the top guy right now in the heavyweight division, and that's Vladimir Klitschko. Um, he's fighting, you know, he's basically over the past five years has, has cleaned out the division, all the heavyweights. I know a year ago you said you were about a fight or two away from challenging him. I got to get your thoughts. I mean, yeah. just on Vladimir Klitschko in general, and do you think – you'll be prepared to fight him when he's still actually around before he retires. I I really hope so. A lot uh, a lot of people have asked me that question and uh, I I really hope so because I would really like to fight him uh, before he retires. Of course, now uh, I'm coming back uh, in a comeback fight and I, of course I'm training as hard as I I can right now and but uh, if that uh, operation wouldn't have happened, or the the my my shoulder wouldn't have broken, I I think I would have fought him this year. I I'm not sure, but uh, but my my thought was uh, already right up there with him. So uh, now I I I have to start a little bit not not from scratch, but but still uh, a little bit under the the. I have to see where where my condition and stuff is in my next fight. So, uh, I, 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 of course, uh, in some point I would love to. If I'm next year top fit, I'm, I hope he's still fighting. I got to ask you this too, Robert. One more thing, and I know it's kind of it was in the beginning of the uh, the show question, but how heartbreaking is it for you? I mean, I'm going to tell you like this. I would we we usually go and rank the current heavyweight in a division and we, we put our, you know, the top five and we put them on our websites and stuff like that. I had you at number three on mine last year. I had you at number three as the the third best heavyweight in the division. I mean, you were on top of the world. People are calling you the next heavyweight champion almost a year since your last fight. I mean, how frustrating and how heartbreaking is it that you're not in there, you know, your momentum had slowed down and you're not going in there becoming a bigger star. I I know what you're talking about, and of course when it happened, and I knew I have to I have to take the operation, I was heartbroken. But uh, uh, I can't see it uh, uh, like that right now. I have to think positive, and uh, I I have learned much of my uh, I've been a lot of to myself and uh, started meditating and stuff like that. So I think this is it. This, this was just meant to happen and uh, I have to see it like this it's uh, it, it was ha- meant to happen and I I'm coming back mentally stronger than ever and uh, that's that's the way life is you know you you can't and uh, one point if you one positive thing uh, I had to I had a lot of time with my family my kids and stuff like that so that was also a really good thing and but I, I like I said I I have been thinking about that a lot, and uh, I can't see. Of course, it's hard to come back, hard to f- uh, find your condition and find your vibe again. But but 
it, it's still there. It just needs a, a little bit training more, and uh, I'm back. And I think I, I know I'm stronger mentally than, than I was before. And, and, and I got to ask you this too, man. I got two more questions, and, 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 and that'll be all for us, my friend. But uh, is, there, uh, is it safe to say that you're the hardest puncher in the heavyweight division? I can say you are. Can you say you're the hardest? For the, for the, for the sake of trash talk. For the sake of trash talk, are you the hardest puncher in the heavyweight division? Uh, I don't like the uh, trash talk, but, yeah, of course. All right. And, w- and one more thing, then, you know, with with obviously getting getting your training together, rehabilitating, you know, getting physically yeah. and mentally focused again to get on that world level, yeah. will Robert Hellenius be world heavyweight champion sometime in the future? Of course. that's That's my only goal. That's my only goal, my only dream in boxing. Robert, I know I I heard you like hip hop music. I heard you like hip hop music. Is there any <laughs> is there any uh, any artist here in the United States that you're fans of? Yeah, a lot of them. Snoop Dogg, uh, a lot Eminem, uh, a lot of uh, good hip hop artists or or rappers or. I was more when I was younger. I was into gangster rap. I don't know why, but it sounded really cool. And now I'm uh, into more. Uh, I listen to everything. I'm not just into hip hop. I have uh, now nowadays. I listen to 60s, 70s rock and stuff like that. So I'm uh, everything else goes, but no classical. <laughs> Any, anything to like get that. you pumped up, huh? Anything to get you motivated and, and pumped up. It does does the trick, huh? Yeah, three, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, good vibe music. Good vibe music. Everything goes. Everything goes. I have no no particular uh, one sided music like when I was younger, but now now it's almost everything that I get a good good feeling about. So. Well, hey Robert, guess what, man? We appreciate your time. I know I caught you, you know, getting out of your training Thank camp. You. Uh, the 10th of November yeah, no is your problem. comeback fight. You know, myself, Tim Cudges, yeah. will be uh, looking on the, the streams, uh, the live streams on the uh, computer to watch your next right. fight. And I know that for sure. Right. And we would love to invite you back on the show sometime after your fight to talk about future opponents, if that's yeah, okay. Yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. Let's do it. Robert, all the best to you, my friend. And uh, we look forward to your next Thank fight. You talking much. to you again soon, man. You have a great night, Chance. Thank you very much. Thank you. You do. You do. Thank you, sir. Bye. All right, there you have it. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you, sir. The Nordic Nightmare, Robert Hellenius.